Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Grand Guilds. Last time we defeated a werewolf and also found out that some villagers were a bunch of assholes. So this time I think we might do one of these little stupid side quests. Just because they give us some money and I would like some new cards. But first off we have to look at our characters here. I do believe we can make some changes. So, no, you you already had yours. You, though. Yeah, you have an extra passive slot now. So, Vigilance is pretty good. I definitely want to keep that on. What's the other one? Uh, Head Start is the other one I have on. Oops. I'm trying to find it on this menu, but I don't see it. There it is. Start each battle with an extra card. When starting, turn next to an ally, gain plus one swiftness for the turn. Hmm. I mean, that's useful, but... Uh, eternal Battery. Basic attack now scales from physical power and magic power. Deals magic damage and has a range of two. That's pretty good. Jeez. So basic attack now scales from physical power and magic power, so it scales from both of them, so it's incredibly powerful, it deals magic damage, and it has a range of two. Yeah, that's pretty good. And honestly, I am more interested in having Vigilance than Head Start. Like, Head Start increases my attack a lot, but that's about all. One extra redraw, physical damage deals 30% more each time she dealt physical damage to the target this turn. Whoa. Physical damage deals 30% more for each time she dealt physical damage to the target this turn. That is powerful. Okay. Hmm. Chain Lightning curses further through adjacent enemies. Ah, that's three though. Oh wait, no, I can I can get that though. I can still put it on if I just take off head start. So she'll have slightly less health. And less magic, but who cares? Uh, we have to progress through the main story to unlock that. Damn it. Okay. I was I was all excited about that one. I thought we could just buy it with our cash up here. No damage has been dealt so far. And so let's just put head start back on and hmm. And unbridled strength, I guess. Just make her stupid strong. And Paco, you're only level 8. And you have an exploit, which I'm going to be honest, wasn't that great. But as we've said before, I don't super plan to use you, so I think we'll just ignore you for now. But let's go ahead and trouble with bloodsuckers. Alright, so this shouldn't be too bad. I can get Cadmus in here. Yeah, just not a massive fan of Paco. I should look at the rest of his cards, so like maybe he just has better cards. Wow, poor guy. All right, everyone, let's do this. Eliminate all enemies. All right, those are some pretty good starting cards, but hmm. No, nah, let's stick with those. And we're just going to wait for them to come I to us, I do believe. So move up a little bit and give yourself us. some more armor. It really is fantastic that armor stays between turns. Maybe I want to hold off on you. Yeah, we definitely want to hold off on you. Oh wait, I said let's hold off and then I used it. Gain five strength for... Eh. I said I wanted to hold off, and then I just didn't. <laughs> what a fool. Because it's... Oh no, that's for three turns. Let's just go ahead and pop it. Who cares? They'll, they'll get here relatively quickly. So... Maybe we can even move up on them next turn. Oh, Pacifist and Vigilance. So both of them are just getting a ton of magic-resistant armor each turn now. Which is quite good. This might actually be we'll do. pretty simple, now that I think about it, because only two of them are going to be able to access us at one time. I will not so, even more so if I attack... No. Even more so if I attack you, Hold move right there, so I'm blocking yeah. this space. 
So, good, good. Bubble Mend. What's the range on that? Crossfield. What is the range? The oh, Jesus, just around me. That's right. Damn it. Okay, well, I mobilized nothing. Congrats, me. That was beautiful. Okay, we didn't do any damage. I think I want to flash step with you. And... Possibly try to do a bunch of damage here. Because you do quite a bit now. Like, 64. Jesus. So, wait. You have 70 HP. This would barely not kill you. You will have 2 HP left. Damn. That's, uh... That's unfortunate. Uh, Cadmus? Uh, I already told him to skip his turn, didn't I? Damn it. Okay, well... Let's just... Use a Lux Not Barrage. So oh, and if she moves right there, then these enemies can't get to us. Unless they have a jump attack. Because this enemy's in the way and she's blocking that. So they can't even walk through their ally. So they're both gonna have to focus on her. Which, if they're both doing that much damage, they might do a pretty good job of focusing on her. Uh, she should be fine. Yeah, she's a little beat up, but uh, Bubble Mend will really help with that. Wait, couldn't that enemy have moved right here and still attacked her? Why'd he move there? Weird. Okay. Well, as I said, what's the range on Bubble Mend? Pretty good. So let's move up here. And heal them by 29 HP for each adjacent enemy. Or I can just use this and hurt them a bunch. I think I'm just gonna use Bountiful Tide. Need to be more careful. Get her a uh, card. I'm also going to use your turn to go ahead and take that enemy out. That should do it. Okay, so now I want to challenge you, and then probably pop that, and then we can get even more armor by doing this. There we go. Cool, 23 armor. And now you. Ride the lightning. So we can stabby stabby. Which will do some damage to both of them. Wait, they're not out of range, what are you talking about? They're right there. Sometimes I find to get a card to work, you have to like cancel the input and then do it again. Luckily it seems like there's not really a penalty for characters dying either, so. Uh, if Ray did somehow die here by being on the front line, it wouldn't be the biggest deal. But I don't think she's going to. They're going to both focus on Eliza anyway. Not realizing that she is my tank. Uh, that's almost enough to kill both of them, but... Whatever, let's just do that. And, oop. Wait, before that. Just to be fancy. Go ahead and heal you up. And I can still cast Water Nebula on you. Cannot lose. And then Eliza can finish off the really, really low health one with an Ether Slash. Gaining some armor in the process. May we never meet again. And you're just gonna get Lux Barraged for the death. Boom. There we go. Cool, cool. Pretty simple little fight. Victory! Yay! All right, so we leveled up. Yeah, I think uh. I think I might just try to do the little green quests whenever I need cash, basically, but also at the same time I'm just worried about running out of cash. So like, what if I find a card that I want in my deck or something and I just can't get it because I don't have enough money? So, build deck. Let's see, was there anything else I wanted? Get a redraw, uh, week two. Lightning strike. That's pretty good. Area, deal 9 damage and apply week 1. Grant 2 AP and plus 1 swiftness for 2 turns. Gain 7 strength and 2 swiftness. That would be good if I just wanted to make her, like, stupidly broken. Yeah, she honestly doesn't have very many more cards that I'm super interested in, although Burst Shock sounds pretty good. 
just having the ability to stun someone. It does cost 3 AP though, it seems better for her just to murder rather than stun. Okay, so you don't get anything new there. What about your deck? Was there anything else I wanted here? Glacial Strike, why does that do 4 damage? But it costs 3. There must be some other effect. 20 piercing damage, probably mobilize. Hmm. Gain 2 strength and intelligence could be good, like I said, but... I'm not crazy about it. Yeah. Let's just not bother with any of those either, but Eliza, what did you have? Hmm, Seven Blades, Binding Fate... Any more taunt cards? Taunt enemies near an ally. I wonder if you can cast that on yourself. Hmm. Deal 26 damage, apply to taunt. Deal 11 damage back to any attackers. Move, deal 20 damage, and apply taunt. Hmm. Gain 25 armor and 12 resistance. That's not even that good. Hmm. Unless we get some more cards, there's not very many in these decks that I actually feel like I want. Like, Avenging Shroud could be really good. Hmm. That's a hundred, though, so we don't even have enough for that. Alright, well, let's go back to the world map. We're not going to do that other little quest, because... I don't think it super matters. We get trills from this anyway. So maybe we should just focus, like, totally ignore the green quests. They don't seem super, super worth doing. Unless we just wanted to get every card, but I'm not super crazy about that, because a lot of them don't seem very good. I'm more interested in getting every single character, so. Chapter 3, Distractions. Yeah, I forgot this was a chapter-based game. Attention. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Alright guys, listen up. We have two of the three items for Zeno to work his magic. Now all we need is a lock of royal hair, but right now I'm not sure how to get some. So, any suggestions? Um, um can we just ask for a lock? <sighs> really, Ray? You want to go up to a royal and ask for some hair? Don't you think that sounds, uh, just a tad suspicious? What? What? No, not at all. I mean, it's just hair. What's the big deal? Alright, give me some of your hair then. No, it's mine. I... <sighs> Enough bickering. Any other question? Any other suggestions? Why don't we just sneak into the royal palace and pluck strands of hair from one of the prince's combs or bedding? I mean, he is a prince, so I'm, I'm sure he's got some laying around somewhere. What? You want to steal from one of the princes? I don't call that stealing. It's not like he's even going to realize it's gone. And how exactly are you planning on doing that? I hope you don't think I'm going to risk my neck for that just because of my magic. We may be a famous guild, but we aren't above Triton's law. At this point, I think a little flexibility should be a problem. I'm fine bending the law a little, but this is outright theft. It's just hair flocules off a damn comb. No one's going to care. Come on. Stop! Ugh, enough already. What is with you two being at each other's throats lately? Maybe I've just been gone too long. Well, we should at least try before doing anything else. Try asking. Even if it is a bit weird, what's the harm done? Now listen. Excuse me. Sir Cadmus, if I may take this. Miss Ray, your suggestion is noble at heart, but reeks of naivete. What? Naivete? As someone who's been on every side of everyone's made up of law made up law, I've seen people locked up for less. It sounds crazy, but dealing with royals is no laughing matter. Unless you're me. <sighs> uh, hey, come now, I just joined your little party. You can't be tired of my antics this quickly. Besides, you need me now. You have a suggestion, Paco? I am not naive, I just think... Ray, let's just hear what Paco has to say, alright? Right. Right then. I know I'm new and all, but I suggest that we face this problem head on instead of trying to tiptoe around it. Meaning? Why don't we just pluck a lock of hair right out of the prince's head? It's real. it's easy. Really. That's even worse than Cadmus's idea, ugh. Hmm. For once I agree with Ray here. That idea sounds awful. Easy? What do you mean it's easy? Sounds like you've done this before. 
As expected of the captain, you'd be correct, milady. I have. A friend of mine, quite a while ago, dared me to cut a strand of some uppity prince in Florian. The bastard was none the wiser that day. How did you manage to do it without being caught? Get this, I was about 300 meters away, and... You cut a lock of hair with an arrow from 300 meters away? That is pretty damn impressive. I don't believe it. The only ones capable of such a feat are... The famed Ambrosian Rangers, am I correct? Ah, yes, that is quite correct. Ah, I knew my old worldly knowledge would still be relevant in some days. It's an honor to have one of their ranks on my ship. Wait, so Paco is an Ambrosian Ranger? I was. I'm not anymore. I have their skills, but I am not one any longer. No interest in talking about it further, either. So even you have things you won't talk about. Huh? Oh, yeah. That explains how you were able to find the lichens in the forest and the little one in the village so effortlessly. I kept sensing some faint magic from you, but didn't question it. I won't press it further now. Thank you, Captain. Right, so anyway, you guys have a destination in mind yet? I'm getting pretty bored of just floating in place. Pilot ought to be piloting something all the time. Hopefully in a moment, Paco. I'm not thrilled about breaking the law. When our guildmaster put me up to the task of tracking down our grimoire thief, so I will do just that. What do you have in mind? Every once in a while, a lofty prince by the name of Marco visits his private ship docked in the Corin shipyard with his entourage of females for a cruise. Because of this, the place generally is generally lax on the guards as the perverted prince wants to maintain his privacy with his women. Typical. So, how do we get to him and get his hair? Let us plot a course for Corin first, then just follow my lead. Trust me, you're dealing with the Master Tracker, Master Ranger, Paco. He cannot steer you wrong. Yeah, I don't know about that. Nav, can you take us to Corin then? Roger that. Go ahead and strap in. The trip won't take too long, but you'll have a little time for some shut eye. Alright, here we are, Corin, Triton's prideful city of imperial trade and a drunkard's best friend. You guys do what you need to do. I'll be at one of the local taverns if you need me. Oh, I almost forgot, here. Huh? A ring? Yeah, it's called a lay ring. If you talk into it, you can talk to me anywhere you are. Everyone better take one so we can all remain connected. Interesting, I've never heard of something like this before. Yeah, well, now you have. Alright, enough talk. Time to get some drinks. Enjoy your new cell phones, you kids. Everyone, I think I will set this one out. I'm still a little exhausted from all this running around. I'm just not used to it yet. That's okay, Amelia. We're docked at a Triton City, so you should be just fine. Go get some rest. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Ray. I will. I'll be back soon, Amelia. Take care. Yes. Of course, Lady Halfert. Well, now, who's this? Paco, it's Paco. Huh. Shit. The only reason Paco here would be coming back to Corin is because he's got our money. Ain't no way he would set foot back here without it. That'd just be suicide, right, Paco? Um... Uh, yeah, well, here's the thing. See, the money is on the way right now. It just ain't here yet. I'm here on some, uh, other business right now, so if you'll just excuse us. Like hell we are moving. Time to pay up, Paco. No more stupid games. Paco here is actually with my group right now. I don't know about the debt he owes you, but I will make sure he pays it back. We're in a hurry right now, so I need you to... Tell you what, Paco, you give us this girl tonight, and we'll give you one more day to collect our money. Oh boy. Is this is this a trend with Eliza? Does she always get, like, hit on and, <laughs> and stuff? And then she just kicks people's ass? Like, what's wrong with people? It's the least you can... Alright, have it your way. I'm ready to beat some ass for this stu stupid asshole. Oh wow, you guys have guns? Seems uh, a little unfair, but I'm still gonna smash you into the dust either way. Let's get rid of one of those lightning spears. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Just had to take care of something, so let's go ahead and start this. There's a lot of ranged units. Also, these guys have shields with guns. Huh. That's interesting. You don't normally see characters with guns in games or throughout history that had a shield too. Usually they just have the gun. I guess a shield wouldn't... 
really do much to a firearm, but since we're using, like, melee weapons and stuff, a shield's actually useful. I still feel like if we get up on them, that gun's not going to help them. I mean, the shield's not going to help them because all they have is the gun, and they can't load it if we're just bashing their face in. So what's the range on your attacks, I wonder? That's something I'm worried about. So let's wait for you... Wow, we don't have any good cards. Okay, let's all wait for them to get to us. Gain one strength. Morphine? Jeez. You guys are taking morphine? You're doing drugs to defeat us? I mean, I guess uh, Ray raises her attack however she does it. I think hers is just like strength burst, though, or something like that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Six damage? I will not fall are you down. serious? <laughs> That's the best you can do. Understood. Uh, you guys might be in some trouble. Now. I hope you have some stronger <laughs> attacks hanging out in there somewhere. Stand your ground. Because uh, at this point, you might be better just throwing the gun at me and running away. Okay, so let's see. I could get right here Already there. and hit them. I don't want to use gap thrust. Let's just use. See, if I use Lux Barrage, I can't use another attack. Can two of these finish it? No. Uh, alright, let's just hold there and... Actually, maybe I should have used Lux Barrage, because then I would have gotten Vigilance and used up a bit more of my stuff. Eh, let's hit him again. It would have been nice to save the Chain Lightning for when they were around, but it's fine. So that enemy's stunned. Understand. Let's see, should I use this to get some damage down, or should I stun one of them? How much? It's only going to do 18 damage, so no, I think I'm just going to go for the Ice Lock. Also, this means I will have done no damage this turn, so I will get my 6 armor and magic resist as well. So wait, wait, and wait. There we go, Pass Fist. Okay, Magic Bomb is pretty good. Although we had a bunch of Magic Armor there, so it wasn't as useful as it could have been. Ooh, apply one weak. That's unfortunate. Especially on her. She's pretty powerful, so I don't want weak on her. Ow. Alright, you're still not doing crazy amounts of damage, though. So I'm not too terrified of you. Still pretty weak, all things considered. No surrender. Okay, so you... You have flashed up. Yes, cleanse a debuff. That is what Point I wanted. Isn't over yet. Cool, so get rid of that weak. You can probably finish that off in one turn. Can you still move? Yes. Okay, so you can still move with that. So, if I get you to just attack... Yeah, you can finish... Someone off? And then we're going to move you over here. Ah, it doesn't work with her. I guess hers is just a... Like, they just forgot about that one, so it kind of breaks the game. Okay, well... They're immobilized, so that's no good. You need I think to we want to go ahead and do this. He's not going to get the armor that he so desperately needs this turn, but... It's fine. Hmm. Let's try and do some hit and run tactics with Ray. So we're gonna go ahead and stab through you, but then we're gonna move back here with flash step. So hopefully they don't actually attack. Oh wait, I didn't actually move the flash step. I just did a regular move. I forgot I still had one. Oh well. We didn't get the card, but that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Apply one weak to him. That's perfect, actually. Please don't go back there and hit her, though. Alright, that's not scary. Yeah, I think you guys are kind of boned. Unless this guy kills Ray. That would be unfortunate. Ooh, he might. Okay, no, he ran out of uh, points. So you can't, you still can't move. So you're, honestly, you're just useless right now. Could we get the. Let's see, can we... Let's get rid of that, because we don't need it. Yeah, water refresh. All patched up. There we go. 
That's what we needed. All right, you two. Stand ready. She's pissed and she's on her way. Allow me. <laughs> Gonna dash to you, and I'm going to apply taunt you. to you, <laughs> and I'm going to apply taunt you. to you. <laughs> and do we still have that stun? We don't have a stun, unfortunately. Hmm. I think we're just Great gonna attack stuff. you. Okay, so how far can you move? You can move right there. I wonder if you could shoot Ray from right there. Actually, I can just, yeah, I can just use Flash Step to get away. So, yeah, let's go ahead and Energy Surge. And then let's just use a basic attack. Wait, no, they're not out of range, they're right there. Here we go. I think I'm accidentally clicking on my character, and that's why that happens sometimes. So now we flash step back here to return to safety. Uh, they might- he might be able to shoot her, actually. Uh, maybe I should have saved the AP so I got some armor. Let's just hope he focuses on Cadmus. If he doesn't, though, once again, it's not the end of the world. These two are definitely locked down, so they're just gonna... Oh no, I didn't think about the AoE. <laughs> Alright, well, that didn't work out, did it? We're still fine, though. There's no way we're gonna die to them. There was just a lot of them, and that immobilized that this jackass is placing on Eliza is pretty annoying. Uh, so, you're taunted. Well, I might as well just murder the hell out of you because I can't move anyway, so... Fortunately, Cadmus is not looking great. And there's no real way for him to get away either. Let's get rid of Bubble Mend. I mean, that doesn't help me out super... Well, like, it doesn't help me out a ton. Uh, well, let's pop this. And... Let's just do Ice Barrage on these two. Free your mind. Get some damage in. This guy's the only one that's going to attack me, and I still have my... Oh wait, I don't have that passive on anymore. Oh, that is right. I don't have that passive on anymore. So if he dies, he's actually down. But I don't think this character can kill him in one turn, and you're going to attack Eliza. Yeah. So I think we're still good here. Yeah, go ahead and game your one strength with your drug use. Get out of here. How does morphine give you strength anyway? Wouldn't it give you, like, more health? Because you basically ignore damage? It seems like the more appropriate thing. Okay, so... Let's see, if I attack you, you won't get taunted. You still can't move. Let's let's get rid of Lion's Pride. Can, can we get something better? That's not something better, but whatever. We can, we can taunt you. And we can go ahead and pop Ether Slash to get some more armor. And yeah, that doesn't do quite enough to kill you. Okay, so... I can finish off both of you, though. I don't even need to use Water Nebula. Actually, yes I do. Because Water Nebula will one-hit you. And then I can throw that at you. And both of you are going to be teaming up on her this turn. Hopefully you can't manage to kill her. Hopefully not. It's going to be close for sure. Okay, you're attacking Cadmus. Good. That's what I want. Because if you two split your damage, then we're much better off. All right. Yeah, I think we've got this. So you're going to die by getting splashed yourself. in the face with water. Goodbye. Death is your fate. And you're going to die by an ether slash. Goodbye, sir. Ah! You're not very good at collecting dead. See, now you're dead. You can't tell me they're not Ready dead. The if we get into this cutscene, then they're just like, ah, oh, we've apprehended them. <laughs> like, no, no, that's not what happened. We, they are ragdolled on the ground. Hey, hey, you're all under arrest. Come with us peacefully or we'll be forced to take aggressive action. Wait, even us? Wait. 
Wait, we didn't start this fight. Those thugs did. We just defended ourselves. She's right, officer. They approached us as soon as we got here. If we had not fought back, they would have killed us. Wait. Guard. I recognize them. Commander Johan, sir? Eliza? Eliza. It's really you. Johan, I can't believe it. It's great to see you. Very well. I and you. Glad to see you're well. Guard, I'll take it from here. Eliza here was one of the guards under my employ, previously assigned to the belated Duchess Hertha. She and her team are good people. As you say, sir. Returning to post. Eliza, it's great to hear from you, but I'm on duty right now, so I must keep pleasantry short. I was concerned about you, though. I heard you exiled yourself after Duchess Hertha's assassination. I needed time away from all of it. It was so sudden, and I was powerless to stop it. We all were. It was not a good situation, and even now we still don't have a great grasp on it yet. Anyhow, as guard captain, I have the authority to negate your arrest, as you saw, but I must still take you all in for questioning. Please just take me. As the leader, I take full responsibility for my team's actions. Very well. However, you must still follow me to the station and await your, await your questioning in our quarters. Before I do so, allow me to introduce myself. I am former Royal Guard Johan under the previous Duchess Heretha. I now serve as the head of guard for the city of Terran. I'm Cadmus, and this is Ray. We're both from Luxdu. I I am Paco of Gil Dreamshire. Yes. Ah, oh, Luxdu and Dreamshire. Impressive. Let us be out then. I don't know if it's Luxdu or Luxduce, but Luxdu sounds better. <laughs> Wanted, cooked or alive, the rooster bandit? For the last time, Ray, we are not doing it. Oh, come on, just look at it, it's so freaking cute. Think of all the things we could do with a pet rooster. You can fry it for starters. Poor rooster, it doesn't deserve this. Hey, how you doing? If you're concerned about whether or not I've spoke of your connection with those thugs, you can rest easy. I said nothing. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I'm going to personally question you myself after all. After we are done with our business here. Be prepared. Ah, great. So, is everything good? Are we free to go? We are, but we apparently just missed the prince. Damn. I was afraid of that happening. Those thugs wasted so much of our time. Great, so what do we do now? No worries, I have another lead. Prince Marco has a younger brother by the name of Stefano that frequents the city streets in watch of the conditions of the people. In particular, at night he seeks to aid the sick and needy, and he does so under the guise of a commoner. Hmm. Bit unusual for a royal, but let's go with it. And how do we even go about finding him if he is under disguise when he's strolling about? Well. You ladies are in luck, for I am a master tracker. Just leave that to me. Th that is the only lead we have right now, so we'll just have to follow it. Where do we go? Well, There's a tavern nearby that I used to frequent to watch for the younger brother. Typically, he makes his, round making, makes his rounds making sure to always pass this tavern, to keep his wits about him. Before we go, I just need to ask, but... Why exactly do you stalk the younger friends? <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm, I'm honestly asking that as well. Do not call it stalking. That is an insult to all trackers everywhere is an instinct to know of where all points of interest of interest of value are at all times. It's practically lifeblood. Right. Ah, I guess I didn't see it that way. Forget I said anything. Let's go. I like you, Cadmus. You're probably one of my favorites. Right. Follow me. He also is a mage, but looks like he could bench press an elephant with those muscles. So, Paco, I know you didn't want to talk about your past much, but could you at least tell me how you found your way into Dreamshire? That's a pretty high-end guild. Most people don't just join it on a whim. Well. well, since you're such a beauty, I suppose I don't mind answering your interest. <sighs> uh. Eh, thanks, I think. To summarize, I got offers to join practically every guild near me. In the end, I chose Dreamshire because it offered the most freedom for me to do as I wish. Guild meetings are a rarity because Dreamshire does not believe in hindering the dreams of its members. That's typically why Dreamshire members are rare to find in groups. So that's the reason, huh? I don't think I've ever seen two Dreamshire members next to each other. Right, it is their creed, one which I follow completely. In exchange for that freedom, we are simply required to send a small percentage of our monthly earnings back to the guild. 
I'm a really good sniper, so I choose bounty hunting as my profession for earnings. You know, Paco, you're actually a pretty alright guy if you aren't being a womanizing scumbag or being hunted for a debt. You're obviously got the skills to handle yourself, why resort to such low-life practices? That's harsh. I'd really rather not talk about it right now, maybe some other time. That's fine, I understand. What about you, Captain? I heard, um, what was his name? Uh, Johan. I heard Johan say you were there when the Lady Duchess was assassinated. Were you a guard or something? Um... Uh, I don't think this is... It's all right. It's fine, Cadmus. Paco, like you, there are things I do not wish to speak about as well. The assassination is one of those things. It brings back cruel, painful memories. Um... Right. Sorry for bringing it up. It's fine. I can tell you that serving the Duchess was a very enjoyable time of my life, and I could never trade that time for anything more. I only wish I had more of it. Paco, I know you're in here. Show your face. Damn it, they're persistent. How is it that you keep dragging us through the mud with you? Excuse me, my companions and I are trying to have a drink in peace. Right now, that includes Paco, so I suggest you all turn around and leave before I have to force you all out. Look, woman, I don't give a damn about any of that. Paco owes us money. A lot of money. And has for a long time. I'm here for it. Now. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. I will consult Paco myself and make him pay what he owes. Perhaps we can come up with some arrangement. Not a chance. Men. Alright. Well, this video has been going on for quite a bit, so I think we are going to end it off here. Probably be a bit of a long episode, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Grand Guilds. Actually, let's let's pick our cards and stuff first, because I am going to keep recording, but this is the end of this episode. Um, okay, we definitely don't need two Frost Fields. Alright, so now I will see you next time for more Grand Guilds.